Hi friends. People ask me how to take perfect money decisions in life. Decision making is one of the greatest powers given to any of us. If we exercise decision making in a perfect way, life is truly wonderful. But there are many constraints in taking decision making. The first one is a great amount of fear to take any decisions. Let us evaluate decision making from a very practical purpose and then we will scale it up to actually understand some of the great principles behind decision making. Let us take one instance. You have gone to a restaurant with your friends and somebody is giving you a treat. It's great when somebody gives you a treat because he or she pays for it. And you have spotted the nice restaurant, you have sat down and the menu card is given to you. Your friend who is the host asks you, what would you like to have? And then you say, kuch bhi, anything. This we would have seen many a times. Looking back, this seems like one of the very ordinary instances of life. But no, behind every ordinary day-to-day -day incidence of life, it is a very big creation. It's a very big habit that is being set. When your friend asks you, what would you like to have? And you say, kuch bhi or anything, then you are making the very big wrong decision of life. Kuch bhi or anything doesn't exist. I heard that a restaurant in Bombay or Mumbai, when you say kuch bhi or anything, they come and give you an empty plate and later they give you a bill for it. I think they are very clever. Kuch bhi or anything means I don't know what to have at this point of time. You are helpless. In a very small random incident of life, when you become helpless, how would you take bigger decisions of life? So the first and the foremost is, whenever somebody asks you what would you like to have, you should exercise a choice which is very apt for you. In a hotel, amongst few dishes, if you can't choose what to have, isn't it something that you should ponder or look into? This is scene number one. Let's flash back to scene number two. The same friend asks you, what would you like to have? And the menu card is given to you. The menu card has on the left side dishes names and on the right side prizes. You scan it up and down, up and down and then you take a decision based on the price rather than on the dish. Example, if you are going to pay for it, then you might choose a dish which is cheaper on the price tag. And maybe if your friend is paying for it, you might choose the expensive dish. Both are wrong in a way simply because you are not going to eat the price or the amount, you are going to eat the dish. So, in decision making, in a very small random incident in a hotel, there is so much learning to do. So, if you look into the menu card and you look on the left hand side and you spot a dish which you actually like and you go for it, that would be a right decision making. Let's go to one more aspect of life. You are gone. You want to buy a garment for yourself, a nice dress. And the shopkeeper shows you a lot of dresses and finally you narrow down onto a dress of your choice. Let's assume that it's a fight between a green dress and a blue dress. So in your mind says green or blue, green or blue, green or blue. And God knows what logic you use and finally you get the green dress home. When you get the green dress home, you have taken a decision for the green dress. In whatever way you have decided. But the sad thing is, 
your mind is now wondering oh i wish i had got the blue dress if you realize this you would realize that each time you take a decision on a day to day basis if you can't stand by your decision on such small trivial matters like a dress or a food then how can we take bigger decisions the truth is get your smaller decisions on a day to day basis right then you get the power to take bigger and higher decisions much more smoothly we'll talk about it in later part of the videos thank you very much and i wish that you take perfect decisions in your life for it is the greatest power given to you exercise it well